What's an interview? So an interview is a thing where I ask you questions so that you to to prompt you to talk about things that happened on the trip. Oh. So where are we at? Golfers at Bama. Why are we here? On a work trip to help the church. And do you feel like we did a good job? So far I feel like we've done a good job. Who do you think is the best worker on the trip? I don't know. They're all really good. I don't know. What do you think was your favorite part of the trip? Probably going to church. That was a good day, wasn't it? Yeah. Guys, happy with your finished project? Yes. Your finished product? Absolutely. Yeah. Confident? Yeah. We're, confident. We're so confident. Nate, Chad, Justin, and all the Hermans can sit on this and it wouldn't break. Why can't I touch the floor? If I'm being completely honest, the boys didn't do that bad. Do you like the settings? I mean, it's not bad. I won't tell them. You guys happy with the leaning forwardness of your finished project? So you guys like it leaning back? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. It's so much more relaxed. They liked it leaning forward. They thought they were done a while ago, but they're still working. These guys are chilling. You guys comfortable? Yeah. Well, the late the weight limit is uh, Ty and Ben built it, so it's your confidence level more <laughs> oh, than anything. One, two, three, four. What was your favorite food? Did you like the seafood? I like the crab. All right, you love crab, huh? Yes. Okay, is there anything else you would like to say in this interview to tell people about the trip you were on? I went to the sauna. It was hot. Um, I have my hoverboard and I got it for Christmas. Yeah. Do you like ice cream cones or ice cream dishes? I like cones better than dishes. For ice cream? Yes. Um, and then, uh, what was it like being with a lot of the older girls? Being with the older girls made me feel like I was older, but I'm just, I look forward to being dared someday. Do you feel like they were good examples for you? Uh, kinda. What was it like being around all these guys? Being around the guys is kinda like this funny lot. Cause they are. Boys get sweaty. And dirty. And dirty. And gross. And gross. You've got a nifty tool in your hand. What is it and what do you use it for? Yeah, so I haven't actually been able to use it, but I've seen people use it to level up the sand when you're doing the paving, just to level things off, spread stuff around pretty easy. I learned a lot on the project. Now I feel like I can go home and tell my dad that like I actually did something because I slack off at home a lot. And so now I'll be like, I did this and this. And I sent him a picture of my hands. He's like, yeah, go girl. <laughs> so that's pretty funny, but yeah. Are setting up the rope lights to go all the way around the pool. Uh, that way, we have some lighting out here to look pretty sweet once we're done. Dude, you got a killer hairdo rocket today. You're like four inches taller than usual. Yeah. Ben, what are you doing? Yeah. A tarp? I think the correct terminology is shade sail. <laughs> Scarlett, what are you doing? How are you doing it? Do you have any advice for any of these kids or anything you'd like to say? Uh, Who's your favorite? I don't have one. No, just pick one. No, I can't. Who's your least favorite? No one. Oh man, you're so. If I had to choose, I would choose no one. Okay, good choice. Please favor what? Hey guys, how does this make you feel? Um, like a sailor. Favorite project to work on was probably putting up the beams.
because you can see it go as you went and uh, just kind of see the progress you make and when you're all done you get to see what you My favorite part was doing the paving actually. So what we did was we took a bunch of bricks and we would just lay them down in a pattern and it was really really cool. Once I learned the pattern it was really easy just to give people the bricks that they needed without asking. It's really fun. Cut up my hands quite a bit um, so you know it's character and everything but um, yeah it was just really cool. It was really cool to be a part of a team and really get stuff done and for a purpose. It made me feel like really like I don't know, like a disciple of Christ, you know, like how they're always like, you know, God's going to send you here, God's going to send you there to like, um, you know, uh, carry on with his kingdom and stuff. And it just really felt like you were kind of part of it. Like, it's hard to do that when you're at home, but then when you get sent somewhere, it's really cool to be a part of that. I'd have to say my favorite part of the trip was just coming all down together, spending time with some of my best friends I've ever known and getting a lot of work done. And in the evenings, I loved how we all came together and worshipped and had some campfire nights and volleyball was really fun. The worst part of the trip was uh, probably the ride down here. It was kind of rough sitting in the back with the with the boys. Kind of gets uh, a little rough with Russ climbing in between you a little bit. Over you, all that, all that good stuff. I'd probably say the worst part of the trip was ooh, the heat was not intense, but it was a little hot yesterday and. That's pretty much it. The weather was really nice overall and everything went smoothly. Worst part of the trip. Oh. I don't really have the worst part of the trip. Also, I'm probably the heat the other day. Actually, it was just really, really hot. But other than that, everything else has been wonderful. I think that anytime that you're around people, um, whether you're working or just spending time together, like bunking together or whatever, like you're gonna grow closer to them no matter what or you're gonna get really mad at each other and not be closer. You know, they're still really annoying and everything, but they're great, yeah. And you're talking about the guys, right? Oh, no. <laughs> no, yes I am. Everyone, actually. <laughs> awesome. You holding that post up? Yeah, it takes a lot of strength, actually. It's kind of straining. No, not here yet. You're doing a really good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been really cool. Um, obviously, there's like the ups and there's the downs of it. Um, I would say that we're a lot closer. Like, there's people that have come that I didn't really talk to much at church that I've talked to a lot now. People that I wouldn't regularly like be like, oh, hey, you want to go out or something? And then, you know, maybe we'll go out now after this. Um, I think it's definitely strengthened us just being in one body and doing one thing for a purpose for sure. I'd give you a little snippet of advice would just be take a risk. You never know what's going to happen with it. Like you never know where you're going to be able to go and help someone. You're never going to know where God's going to lead you to touch someone's heart and really be like that's the child of God right there. I would just say take risks. Do whatever God is calling you to do. Even if he's not calling you, just do it and most we'll God can work through it for sure. Naya, do you, want do you know what an interview is? No. Would you like to do one? Yeah. An interview is where I ask you questions to learn more about what you're thinking. <laughs> what are you thinking about right now? Swimming. Okay, that's a good thought. What's your favorite food? Spaghetti. And did you like being on this trip hanging out with these older girls? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I mean, give me some reasons. What do you like about them? I don't know. Uh, do you like the clothes they wear? Yes. Yeah. Do you like their hairdos? Yes. And would you like to be like them someday? Maybe. Do you like to work hard? No. Um, what do you think about your brother and sister? Crazy. And what do you think about Crosby? I don't know. Do you know nothing about him? Nope. <laughs>
what's the first thing you're gonna do when you get home? Uh, I'm gonna play with Jerry and I'm probably gonna get ready for bed. Drake, what's the first thing you're gonna do? Drake, what's the first thing you're gonna do when you get home? I'll uh, probably get ready for bed. Tess, what's the first thing you're gonna do when you get home? Probably give my dad a hug. May, what's the first thing you're gonna do when you get home? The first thing I do when I get home is I'm probably going to go to bed. Tacoma, what is the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Uh, I'm going to finish this book. <laughs> Callie, what's the first thing you're going to do when you step foot in your doorstep? I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'd love to do another work trip. I'll say I was pretty nervous coming into this, like meeting new people and like being part of something because like my strengths might lie in something else. But like um, yesterday, how we had the youth group people, like kids come in and like, and I just got to sit down and talk with some of the girls. I really got to know them and it was just really cool to like be able to use my strengths in talking with people to like almost kind of like add to this trip more instead of just being like, oh, we're just gonna go work on something. We're not gonna do anything else, but we got to build relationships. I actually got one of the girls' numbers, so it'll be really cool to talk with her about it further in the future. Thank God for giving us this time to come down together and thanks everybody for pitching in and getting all the work done.